Okay, so the homework this week um, was all about expanding and simplifying. And so if we have a look at the first one, we do three lots of 2p, which was 6p. Three lots of 4 is going to be 12. Remember, we've got to do three lots of the first thing and three lots of the second thing. Next one, five lots of 4t is going to be 20t. We've got five lots of minus 8, which is minus 40. Next, we've got seven lots of 3h, which is 21h. We've got seven lots of 9, which is 63. So that's 21h plus 63. Isn't that clear by the looks of that? Uh, next one, two lots of 5d is going to be 10d. Two lots of 4 is going to be 8. Next, we had to get used to multiplying with a negative sign. So minus times q is going to be minus q. Minus times 2 is going to be minus 2. Minus times x is going to be minus x. Minus times 7 is going to be minus 7. Minus times h is minus h. Minus times 3 is going to be minus 3. Minus times g is going to be minus g. Minus times 3 is going to be minus 3. One thing I didn't do here, which I probably should have done, would have a minus times b minus 2. That would be minus b. The minus times a minus is going to be plus 2. So just be aware that you can do that. Next one. Um, you're going to do the same thing again, you're going to do it twice. So 2 times z is going to be 2z. 2 times 3 is going to be plus 6. 4 times z is going to be 4z. 4 times 2 is going to be plus 8. And once you've done that, you simplify it. So 2z plus 4z is going to be 6z. You've got 6 plus 8, which is going to be plus 14. Then we do it with these ones. So 3 times c is going to be 3c. 3 times 1 is going to be plus 3. 5 times c is going to be 5c. 5 times 7 is going to be plus 35. Then you simplify it. So 3c plus 8c is going to... So 3c plus 5c is going to be 8c. 3 plus 35 is going to be 38. Okay, let's do it again. So 5 times 2q is going to be 10q. 5 times 5 is going to be 25. Minus 2 times q is going to be minus 2q. And minus 2 times minus 2 is going to be plus 4. Because remember, minus times a minus is a plus. So if we simplify that, 10q take away 2q is going to be 8q. 25 plus 4 is going to be plus 29. Same again. 2 times 3c is going to be 6c. 2 times minus 8 is going to be minus 16, making sure we get the signs correct. Minus 8 times c is going to be minus 8c. Minus 8 times 4 is going to be minus 32. If 6c take away 8c is going to be minus 2c. Minus 16 and take away 32. Imagine the temperature. So the temperature is minus 16. It's going to get 32 degrees colder. That's going to get down to minus 48. Then we've got to do it again. But, um, this time is one step harder. So 9b times 2b. 9 times 2 is going to be 18. But remember, it's b times b. So it's going to be 18b squared. And you've got 9b times by 5. So 9 times 5 is going to be... 45, that's just the 1b. Next, 4b times 6b is going to be 24b squared. 4b times 6 is going to be plus 24b. Now here, even though we've got b squareds and b's, we can only simplify the b squareds together. So 18b squared plus 24b squared is going to be 42b squared. If you've got 45b plus 24b is 69b. Uh, next one. 4 times t is going to be 4t. 4 times 1 is going to be plus 4. Next, minus 7t times 8t is going to be minus 56t squared. Minus 7t times minus 11 is going to be plus 77t. And then we've got to try and simplify. So if we look at this, there's only one lot of t squared, and that's these ones. It's going to be minus 56t squared. 4t plus 77t is going to be plus 81t. Then you've got plus 4 on the end. And that's that one. Okay, so the final section, uh, section 6, we had to multiply these out. Now these are different because if you have a look at the other ones, um, if we get rid of all the ink from this page, what you've got is in front of each bracket you've got a number. But on this page here, you don't have any um, numbers in front of the brackets, it's just two brackets next to each other. So we use either the smiley face method or the squawking parrot method, I think we said. So 
So m times n, if you use a smiley face, m times n is going to be m squared. 5 times 1 is going to be plus 5. Then you do the nose, which is 5 times m, which is 5m. Then m times 1, which is going to be 1m. So we've got m squared. If we simplify the nose in the math, because all the time we've got to simplify the nose in the math, 5m plus 1m is going to be 6m. So m squared plus 6m plus 5. Next, k times k is going to be k squared. 3 times 5 is going to be 15. 3 times k is going to be plus 3k. And you've got k times 5, which is going to be plus 5k. That simplifies to k squared plus 8k plus 15. Next, uh, if you use the parrot method this time, so let's get rid of this thing so we can see what the parrot method is. Um, so we do x times x, which is x squared. And we do x times minus 2, which is minus 2x. And if we want to make it a parrot, we draw a little parrot sign on it. And then we do 4 times x, which is plus 4x. And then 4 times minus 2, which is minus 8. And that is a decent parrot. Um, x squared minus 2x plus 4x minus 8. So if we simplify that, x squared plus 2x, because minus 2x, imagine 0, you go down by 2x and then up by 4x, so it's going to be plus 2x, and that's minus 8. Finally, using the parrot again, t times t is going to be t squared. t times minus 3 is going to be minus 3t plus 5t, and then 5 times minus 3 is going to be minus 15. You then simplify, minus 3t plus 5t is going to be plus 2t. So we've got t squared plus 2t minus 15. And that was this week's homework, so well done.